Hello friends, this video on DNF block elements part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll study the electronic configuration of these elements. So let's see the electronic configuration of actinium AC. Atomic number is 89. 89. So 89 will start in the series 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, then 3p6, 4s2, then we have 3d10, 4p6, we have 5s2, 4d, 5s2, 4d10, 10. and then we have 5p6, 6x2, and then we have 4f14, then we have 5d10, and then we have 6p6, and then we have 7s2, and then we have 5f, and then we have 60. First, let's see the nearest electron noble gas 86. Let's count 86 2, 4, plus 6, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, 38, 48 plus 6 is 54, 56 plus 70, 80, 86. So this whole thing in the first line is 86, right? And then we have three more, right? So two will go here, 86, 87, 88. And then the next electron will go to 60 electron. So this will be what? This will be Rn, 7s2, 5f0, 6d1. Now again note this that after this is Rutherfordium that is 105. See after 89 if you take a element with atomic number 90 that in that case if you see again the same logic since d has already one electron the energy level of d has increased the next electron will go to 5f. And then the next 14 electrons will go to 5f orbital and those are, again if you see, are actinides and they are not part of the series. The next element here you see is 104 because the next 14 elements goes to f, next 14 electron goes to f orbitals and so the next 14 elements are f block elements, right. The next d block elements after 89 is 104. There is a gap of 14 and these 14 goes in f orbital because d has one electron so that makes uh, energy level of D higher and the other electrons goes to F orbital. So this is now Rutherfordium 104. So we'll draw that for that. Rn is my 86, 72, and as I told, this 14 will go here. So this is 86, 88 plus 14. 88 plus 14 is what? 102. So 102 electron is being taken care by this configuration correct in the next we have two electron more because it is 104 so two electron will go in the 60 orbital 60 same thing for my db dubenium so 102 electron is been taken care by this ru 7s2 5 by 14 this takes care of 102 electron the next electron three electrons can go here okay same thing from seaborgium sp 106 102 electron is being taken care by this configuration and then we have four electrons pending so four electrons will come here same thing for borium 107 102 electron is being taken care by this so 5 electron will come here 
okay same thing you proceed here this is done this is done borium is done then we have hassium 108 so hassium 108 so 102 is taken care by ru 7s2 5s14 big scale of 102 and then i have 6d so 102 is taken care by these all six pending six will be in d orbit right same thing from empty Deuterium, this 109 here again 102 is taken care by these elements this this much and the remaining seven will come here right similarly you can write for ds also there is not uh, much uh, exceptions here because these are all radioactive elements they have very short life and it's difficult to actually see the electronic configurations of visualize the electronic configuration of these elements okay then we have rg this is ronchenium this is 109 here you can see that there is a change 5f14 6d should have 9 electron but if there is a transfer of electron from here this becomes ru 7s1 5f14 and 6d10 this is more stable, so there will be a transfer of electron. And the next is Copnesium, that is my CN 112. Here also 102 electron is taken care by RU7S2, 5F14, and then I have 6D, remaining 10 electron will be with 60. So that is the electronic configuration. Okay, so this is all about electronic configuration of D block. Let's take one numerical. On what grounds you can say that scandium, that is atomic number 21, is a transition metal but zinc, atomic number 30, is not a transition metal. Let's write the electronic configuration of these two elements. Scandium, atomic number 21, we know that the configuration is AR, 3D1, 4S2. We have derived this electronic configuration just now. And the definition of transition metal itself is metal which has incomplete filled d orbital in ground state, ground state or oxidized state. Okay, so we talk about zinc. Zinc has atomic number 30, the electronic configuration is AR 3D10 4S2. So just by looking at this you can see that zinc, at least in this configuration, zinc d orbital is filled. Even if you talk about zinc plus 2, which has its atomic number 28, the electronic configuration is this because from this if you from zinc if you want to make zinc plus 2 if you pull out two electrons the two electrons will come out of s orbital so if you see for zinc and zinc plus 2 that is zinc and zinc oxidized state in both of these case the d orbital is completely fit so it is not transition metal but if we talk about scandium in fact the normal or the ground state scandium itself has unfilled d orbital so it is a transition metal the next question is silver has completely filled d orbital in its ground state how can you say it is a transition metal so let's talk about silver if you talk about the silver we have just seen that the electronic configuration of silver is ar od10 5s1 this is the electronic configuration of silver but we have seen that silver exists in two oxidation states. They are the two common oxidation states of silver. If we talk about Ag+, the electronic configuration is 4d10, 5s0. This one electron will come out of s orbital. If we talk about Ag2+, the next electron will actually come out of d orbital now. Right? Now if you see in this case actually the d orbital is partially filled. So it is a transition element okay thank you 
Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.